The Way Home for Wolf. We are learning to write a character description, what I'm looking for, children who use the fantastics, use adjectives, verbs and adverbs, use capital letters and full stops correctly, use neat handwriting. Your challenge, aim to use some cursive joined handwriting. Please work in your English book today. Write today's date and underline it. Write the waltz underneath. Take a photograph of your work and click the add response button to put it into Seesaw so I can see it. The way home for Wolf. We are using the work you did yesterday. So those words you came up with to describe the character you chose and putting those ideas into full sentences. So remind yourself which character it was you chose and the words you came up with. We're going to use the work from yesterday. And we came up with all our descriptions of whichever animal you chose to describe to write it now in full sentences. So, I'm going to start my writing one here. What do I always need to start any sentence with? That's right, capital letter. Okay, so I'm going to start with a capital T, right, because I'm writing about the walrus, I'm going to say the walrus. You can start with the, which is the animal it is that you chose to write about. Okay, now I'm obviously writing on a door, so bear with me. It's not quite a smooth surface. I'm going to do my very best with my handwriting. And I'm going to show you how to do your joins. So remember, Sid, you can do your, start doing your joins, your cursive writing. The target for the end of year two, so you've got to start practicing now. Okay, so the. Okay, so I'm going to start with my describing the first thing I started with yesterday, what he looks like. I'm going to use those, some of those words, not all of them. I'm going to choose some of them to write a few sentences about what the walrus looks like. Okay, so I'm going to say the walrus. Was tall. I could put and chubby, I think I'm going to put but chubby. So it was tall but chubby. Okay. I get one of those BOBs, remember? But because, but or because and so. Okay, so tall but. Chubby. So that's the end of my first idea that Woolworths was tall but chubby. So what needs to go at the end? Full stop. Now my next idea. Okay. I'm going to think I'm going to talk about his hairy whiskers. There was something else I came up with yesterday, what he looked like. Okay. Instead of the walrus this time, I can use them because I know who I'm talking about now. Don't need to use the name of the animal. I can say he. Okay. He. Again, capital letter though. He had some very Let's check it makes sense. He had 
some very hairy whiskers around his nose and mouth. The end of the idea, we'll do a full stop. Okay, now let's move on. I've done what he looks like, some of my ideas. Let's think about my next one, what he sounds like. Okay, or sounded like. So again, I'm going to use he. He had. No, I've got. Remember, I said booming voice, deep voice, friendly voice. I'm not going to use them all. Or could I use all of them and give myself a list sentence in there? I think actually, let's try it. See if it sounds okay. Or I'm going to check it out loud if it sound like a good sentence. He had a deep, booming, friendly voice. Yeah, I like it. So he had a deep, comma, booming, comma, friendly. to get one of those list sentences that has had three adjectives to describe his voice. He has a deep, booming, friendly voice. Okay, so let's move on to what he was doing. So my verbs and my adverbs. Okay, so God, he was moving slowly, moving carefully, using his stick carrying will. So I can put them, a few of them together. So I think using his stick and moving carefully or slowly, they kind of go together because he's using his stick because he's moving slowly or he's moving slowly because he's using his stick. They're all together about showing that actually he's not a quick mover and he needs help to move. Okay. And I can do carrying Wilf as a separate sentence. I'm going to do E was using a walking stick. And moving slowly okay so let's read it check so far the walrus was tall but chubby he had some very hairy whiskers around his nose and mouth he had a deep booming friendly voice he was using a walking stick and moving slowly Okay, um, I've got carrying there, but I could change it instead of having the ing suffix, I could do the ed suffix. I don't know if he was carrying, he carried. Try doing that. So I've got more than one type of suffix in there. Okay, so he, you can see I'm starting he a lot, so maybe on my next sentences after this, I'm going to do a different way to start. Okay, so he. Carried Will. They can get my word carefully now. Thank you. Because Will would balancing on his head. We'll be doing it carefully. So he carried Will carefully. Come to a bump in the door. So, yeah, it's tricky to write now. He carried Will carefully across. Could I snow ice Arctic? I'm going to put ice. 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 Okay. So, last little bit. It's all to do with remember. He smelled like that's the fantastic I chose. He smelled like. Okay. So, I'm going to. 
going to think, think of another way of sentence to start this sentence. And the smell, so the person who perhaps is going to notice the smell, or the character that's going to notice the smell most, would be Wilf. Okay, I don't know if the walrus would notice the smell of himself as much. Okay, so I'm going to say Wilf, and it's that way Wilf could smell, or well, Wilf thought he smelt. Okay, so capital again, because it's the start of my sentence, but also it's Wilf's name. Will Remember, once you've completed your character description, click on this button so I can see your work. <laughs> 